Hi, Billy the Artist here. Today we are going to draw very simply and quickly Snoopy and Woodstock from Peanuts. But I just wanted to show you these. There will be a time lapse up of this. This is Josh Brooks, a British superbike motorcycle racer on a Yamaha R1. There'll be a full time lapse of the painting section of this going up online very soon. There'll be a fine art print. And this is an oil painting, it's just drying, and then I'll varnish it, it'll level all the colours out as they dry and those kind of things. But this is the new one. And this is a man called Valentino Rossi, he's Italian, and there will be a full time lapse of this one up. And you will see here that you see the pencil drawing. This is just the underpainting, the, the brown line that I put down underneath my oil on canvas paintings that I can then do the work, all the colour work on top of it. But as I said, you've seen the, the pencil drawing go down, you've just seen a photo of that. And this is what I do for my full time work uh, on top of everything. And this is why. How I started was doing these very simple drawings of cartoon characters and things when I was a young person, which is why we're doing Snoopy today. Right, so here we have my blank piece of paper, my A4 piece of paper. We're also going to colour in Snoopy today. So I've got my colours out, I've got my pencil crayons, but I've got my colours out. But I'm going to do shapes very quickly. Snoopy's very, very simple. So with the image, what you need to do is split your page into three into thirds in a sense, just draw some very quick construction lines, just blocking your page into thirds. So I'll draw those a little bit darker so you can see them. And that way, when you've got the page into thirds, it'll help you draw your shapes in and you can erase out, rub out any of your construction lines after. But Snoopy is really, really simple. If we start with his little house, his little hutch that he goes flying off as the Red Baron, you can imagine you've got a box shape there and you can put little tick marks in you can then go down to the edge and there's a shape quickly and then you want a nice simple curve for the top of the grass that comes across there and then you can do the edge of the wood and then come down with a shape that comes down for the main not the roof the main body of his little dog kennel and then you can put three lines in there so two lines in there so you've got the three separate boards of his hutch and then you've got the same on his roof and you can just do a couple little tick lines and you can do that and this is how simple it is shapes remember my first basics video is all about shapes and if you do just simple shapes nice simple ovals egg shapes there's his head, there's his tummy, and there's his feet. And then you can connect with a kind of tube. There's a little rectangle and a shape for his hand. And then again, you've got a little egg shape, very simply for Woodstock. That goes on quite nice and simply. And then you've got a little circle for his nose. It then gives you the place you can put his eye on, the placements of everything, just using simple shapes. And as I say, Snoopy, this is so simple and quick with the new movie coming out. All the, the characters who are in the Snoopy film are all made up of basic shapes and we'll do some more of them. But here, I'm just gonna do Snoopy very quickly. So now you can darken up the lines so Snoopy stands out. So you come round under his chin and come down to his neck and then delineate his collar and then you've got his tummy where you've got woodstock so you've got woodstock's big nose and then you can just do some spikes off nice and simply and do his tummy coming down and then you've got woodstock's tummy and his little wing and he's asleep too, little line there. And then you've got his lovely little feet. And then his bird tail. And then Snoopy's tummy comes down and you've got his first foot. And then you've got just a nice shape goes round. And you can draw his toes on. You can put the one in, just the second line in for at the back if you want. Little line for his shoulder and his arm comes down 
one little finger on his paw there's the other and there's the line coming down and so that very quickly and simply is snoopy little hat just leave a little bit of a highlight and you can color that in on the top of his kennel and then you can nice and simply you know you the joy of snoopy is and the peanuts characters charlie brown and everyone is your lines can be nice and wiggly because it adds character and you can do them so quickly and so here we have the edge of snoopy's roof and now coming down to the body of his little dog kennel and then that comes down and then it comes down and then for the grass you can just you can just choose how you do it you can just do some little spikes and that very quickly is snoopy again simple shapes put the paper into thirds and then draw the boxes and put your reference points in and you can make the top of the hutch and the side and snoopy's made out of three little simple egg shapes little ovals and would stock the same and then you can very very simply I mean if you want to you can erase out your lines but then you can just block in your colors nice and quickly if you erase your lines out you'll get nice clean colors or you could use paint or wax cranes so there's wood stock nice and yellow Snoopy is going to have a little bit of shadow so I'm using a very light gray here coming down I'm not going to mimic the poster completely so I'm just recreating where I think if the light was coming from here but again shadows you can just put a little bit of blue in so this is just a little bit of fun with color and it just adds a little bit more life to the actual image if you notice on the peanuts trailer put the red on then you can put a little bit of brown underneath now again these hutches are kind of ready brown color so if you do this really quickly lightly with a red first and sometimes if you squint it helps when you coloring in blocking in these kind of large areas quickly because you see the edges in a more fuzzy fashion and it stops you actually thinking and looking too quickly if you put the red on lightly first and then do the grain in the brown go the same direction as the grain of the wood it just helps with your drawing and it makes it look like wood a little bit more and then you can press on a little bit harder for the shadow underneath there and delineate the lines there and where Snoopy's lying on if you do again just a little bit of a shadow underneath and the same underneath the roof down onto his hutch and this is out quick and simple even just using pencil crayons you can delineate and create the illusion that becomes Snoopy on his hutch your last one is going to be your green so again block in the color very very quickly a technique that landscape painters use is they put a bit of brown or ready kind of color underneath because you imagine the earth underneath and it helps it to stand out and so then if you do the spiky kind of greens on top this is a, a mid dark green and then you get a nice zingier green it will make it stand out and look quite lovely so we'll now just again tone up Snoopy's kennel to make it look nice and red and the shadow areas you can use your brown oops you can use your darker brown and that'll help make the shadow stand out a little bit make the edges a bit darker 
but using a blue or a purple just again go over gently and the blue will give your shadows a little bit more depth and a little bit more simple colour. So here is Snoopy from the new Peanuts film. Asleep on the top with Woodstock, his little bird friend who sits and helps him. But again that's simply using the thirds. Remember divide your page into thirds and then use squares to create the space for his hutch to go in and then do the diagonal lines three simple little circles ovals for Snoopy's body and that's how easy it is to create again with the Rossi picture that you saw earlier there'll be a full time lapse on if you want to see more how to draw videos to encourage you to help you with your art and see my full art time lapse pictures please do like and subscribe I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial of how to draw Snoopy and Woodstock from the new Peanuts movie thanks very much for your time and I look forward to the next video to send out to you Ta-da!